Tell me about your Eric's days. Did you ever DJ there? We did actually, didn't we? We did. On a couple of occasions. I think. Well, I remember one. <laughs> me and John. We chose uh, Tom Jones. Atomic Jones, the album, which is, the, we, the, we remember the cover, it's got Tom Jones with a mushroom cloud behind it, and we chose that as our album, featured album, featured album. <laughs> we're just not in the punks, and I remember doing The Clash, because yeah. I think I had to go actually walk on stage to announce them, and this sea of, God, do you remember when yeah. the spitting was all grey? Terrible. And, and another one was, I had a Devo, I remember as DJ Nick Devo. And we made paper cones. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is mentioned in Peter Frame's book, I think. He says he came up to do it and, and he says, I think I put it on Facebook, he says something that I dedicated every song to Paul Conroy from Stiff. And this is for Paul Con I mean, they must have hated us. No wonder we don't get mentioned as being DJs. And um, while really Barrett, John that way, I remember I was DJ at that one. So yes, we did. We did our yeah, fair share of DJ. The Forgotten Men. I think they probably tried to put it on the raise. The yes, they, they were the ones who they weren't playing the Lurkers and the Clash. Yeah. They were playing Tom Jones just to annoy people. So Never what? The Rebels. What year uh, did you play in Eric's? And what was the story you told about taking the faces down? Oh, oh. it was the Revolution Club. And they had big uh, kind of fiberglass portraits of the Beatles, Beatles on the wall. Relief. In, I mean, they're quite deep, and they were the size of that, yeah. the size of this wall, probably, weren't they? Yeah. they were, uh, so they had John, Paul, George, and Ringo. I do wonder where, where they ended up in some <laughs> skip somewhere. I mean, they were worth millions now. Mm. Um, so we took them down. We were allowed, but yeah, Eric's let us, it was very early Eric, because it was turning, it was still the revolution. It's the revolution it? turning into Eric. And, and, um, yeah, we we were allowed to rehearse there for free. God bless them. God bless them at Eric's, Roger and Ken and Pete. Lovely crowd. Really helpful, very supportive. Mm. But um, it's a period that's always forgotten in Eric's history as well, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's really when uh, when Stiff came up and we signed that single deal with them. We That was a kind of our phase of Eric's. So was coming to an end then. Yes, it we was. Kind of, we kind of left that club. We like, actually went more down to London. We did. And a lot of what we did, so we were like replaying Pope and Anchor, yeah. um, all those London clubs, you know, yeah. Greyhound, the, the Fun Group, yeah. The, oh, the, the Nashville. The Nashville, yeah, Nashville. Yeah. Uh, because of the Nashville that we got, got the deal. Yeah. I mean, that, again, that's amazing. We got lucky enough to support Costello at Eric's, lucky that Stiff were there in the audience yeah. going, you must come down to London and support him next week, I think. I think it was a week later. So we support him at the f f did a four week residency. We supported him on the first Sunday and the last Sunday. And I think after the last Sunday, they went, right, and the last Sunday of the month, they said, um, right, we want you to go and do, an, uh, go and do a single, which is, which is amazing. That's, um, I can't believe it. And again, it's that sliding doors thing. It yes. stiff hadn't been there. So when do you think was the end of punk? Oh, oh. flipping hell. When, when, when Sham 69 formed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what date that was. But it suddenly seemed everybody jumped on the bandwagon. Didn't it? Yeah, I think that's so. I mean, it wasn't around um, that long, I felt, as a movement. Maybe a year or something like that. We headed down to, to London. So that would have been in 76. Yeah. In summer of 76, John and I hitched down to London. Uh, to try and see the Sex Pistols, this band we'd heard about, and they'd gone up to Leeds. I think, <laughs> I think, we, I think we must have passed on the motorway probably. I think we did see, we saw Stranglers, um, yeah. well, I can't remember who else we were, but it was like Eddie and the Hot Dogs. Did we? Well. I think we saw, Ru we saw Rugulator. Rugulator, yeah. Um, but that, that was the, more the, the pub scene. But yes, we were eager to find out what's all this punk what's scene. So that's, yeah, that was early because Eric's. Started in seventy six. You think yeah. it started in seventy seven, but it actually started in seventy six, October seventy six. So by definitely by kind of mid seventy seven, because we weren't yeah. in the Eric's crowd. No, mm. been replaced by a new younger, by more, vital, younger. By, by, more vital crowd. By the kids. By the kids. Were you punks? <laughs> <Two old geezers. laughs> Sorry. Were you punks? No. 
we love we love the music. But again, I suppose we were more into well, I definitely I need John too because that's what we were buying. Where where is it? Where's that? Ed, where's that? Well, there we go. There we go. I'm getting this one. Hold that. Hold that for a little bit. Hold that. So we when the whole I mean the, the, I think that the, the punk thing for us was as much as I like, keep it short. You know, that, all those yeah. rules were good. We we adhered to those rules. But it was like you know nuggets. Um, was what we were, or what I thought we were trying to do, but we probably got it wrong. And then things like yeah. Teddy in the Pans. Yeah. There was two tracks off this that we used to do as yachts. There was Basic Magnetism. <laughs> Cracking songs, fantastic. How did it go? It's a basic magnetism, and it's very clear to see. It's a it basic magnetism. No, waves, waves deliver, oh, spit waves deliver stimulation. stimulation. You to me and me to you. <laughs> what a it's, a classic. it's a classic. Well, we did find, look back in Love Not in Anger, which yachts, when John left, we, we carried on. We did that as a single. Sing a bit single. of that. Sing a bit of that. I said, now, hey, look back in Love Not in Anger. It's on YouTube. It's on loads of hits. But this is the album got that off. And, and, but this is, the, this is a cracker. Nuggets. Look for it in there. In any bargain, well, you won't find it in bargain bins actually. Original artifacts from the first psychedelic era, 65 to 68. So there you go, pumpkin in a nutshell. <laughs>